Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about graph piecewise defined functions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So what is a piecewise function? A piecewise function is a function in which more than one formula is used to define the output. Each formula has its own domain, and the domain of the function is the union of all of these similar domains. We notate this idea like this. f of x is equal to, a little curly bracket, formula 1 if x is in the domain 1, formula 2 if x is in domain 2, formula 3 if x is in domain 3. In piecewise notation, the absolute value function is absolute value of x is equal to curly bracket, x if x is greater than or equal to 0, negative x if x is less than 0. Okay? So let's go dive into our first example. And bear with me, I'm going to go write this out. All right. A museum charges $5 per person for a guided tour with a group of one to nine people, or a fixed $50 fee for a group of 10 or more people. Write a function relating to the number of people n to the, the cost c. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, for n values under 10 from 1 to 9, our cost is equal to, well, $5 per person times the number of people. And that's for our really values from 1 to 9 people, okay? Or in any way, from 0 is less than n, which is less than or equal to 9, okay? Or 10, actually. So. No, I would say, oh, that's what. There's a few ways you can write this. It's up to you. Uh, we're going to include, not really include zero, but like this. So zero, we don't want to break here. So zero is less than n, which is less than 10. So all the way up to 10, but not including 10 people, we show as this. But then they say our cost is just $50 flat fee for anyone else 10 or more. So if n is greater than or equal to 10. So how would I see this as a function? Well, c of n is equal to a piecewise function 5 times n if 0 is less than n, which is less than 10, but then it's 50 if n is greater than or equal to 10. So we can see that graph here, okay? Notice that it's an increasing line the first part from 0 to 10, but not including 10, and then right there it equals $50 if a group is 10 or more. And notice 10, or we plug 10 into our function here, 5 times 10 is 50, but it's so they do meet perfectly right there. So we have a graph that goes, matches this piecewise function right here, and that's a C, so we have C uh, of n right there. Oops, drew a little too high. It's all good. All right. So let me erase this and we'll dive into the next problem. All right, so we have a cell phone company and it uses the function below to determine the cost C in dollars for G gigabytes of data transfer. C of G is equal to, all right, we have a little curly bracket, so I can put that right here. C of G is equal to the curly bracket of 25 if 0 is less than g, which is less than 2, and 25 plus 10 times g minus 2 if g is greater than or equal to 2. Okay? We want to find the cost of using 1.5 gigs, gigabytes of data, so find the cost of using 1.5 gigabytes of data and the cost of using four and four gigabytes of data. Okay? I guess we did GBS, I guess, for gigabytes. Alright? So how do we do that? Well, the cost of using 1.5, let's plug that in for our G value. Well, what domain is 1.5 in? Well, 1.5 is in the domain of the first part, right? From 0 to 2, they tell us right there, 0 to 2, so 1.5 is within that range. We use the first equation, 
There's nothing to plug in for G, it's just 25. So our value is just 25. All right, now we wanna find four gigabytes. So the cost of using four gigabytes of data Four is in the uh, domain here of the second part of the piecewise function. It's greater than or equal to two. So four, we use that part. So we have 25 plus 10 times four minus two. And now we simplify. 25 plus four minus two is two times 10, which is 20. And 25 plus 20 is $45. So if we use four gigabytes of data transfer, uh, it would cost us $45 there. All right, so we can see a graph here that represents that piecewise function. Notice it's linear, straight across, for $25 until we hit two gigabytes of data, then the prices start going up as we keep using more and more data transfer, okay? So it's not too bad right there. Let me erase this and we'll dive into the next example. All right, so we will have this piecewise function and we want to graph it. Our piecewise function is this, f of x is equal to, curly bracket, x squared, if x is less than or equal to one, it's equal to three, if one is less than x, which is less than or equal to two, and it's equal to x, if x is greater than two. All right. So a few things we want to note here, okay? I like to graph each one individually first, okay? So graph each one individually first, and we can see the overall picture there once we combine them, okay? So let's first look at x squared. It has the shape of x squared, but notice that x is less than or equal to one, so we have a closed circle when x is one y equals three, the second part here is just a straight line y equals three, but we restrict that from one to two, okay? So one is less than x, which is less than or equal to two. So we have an open circle there when x is one and a closed circle at two. Lastly, x, uh, graph y equals x is just that uh, identity line right there, but we only include that when x is greater than two. So a lot of times you can draw that line, then erase the parts that aren't being used, and so we have an open circle at when x is two, and it keeps going with that line. All right, if we combine all three together, we put them, so we have all parts put them together, and we get this graph. It shows all parts there of the x squared, y equals three, and x with their res restricted domain, respectively, and we can see that right there, and that together, all graphed would be our piecewise function right here, f of x equals x squared if x is less than or equal to one, f of x equals three if one is less than x, which is less than or equal to two, and x if x is greater than two. So that together will be that piecewise function. They don't always have to connect, okay? They have different parts there, but we can see that graph matches this piecewise function. If you like this video and you learned something about graph piecewise defining functions, please subscribe to our channel and like the video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com